Hey everyone, this is Matt from Monash Nova Rover, and in this short video today I'll be showing you how to import a component from the Manufacturer Parts Search into our Ultium 365 component library. Um, so I have opened here a schematic sheet and I'm looking to place an, uh, a 10K0603 resistor. So the first thing to do would be to go into the components panel here. This is all the uh, components we have in our uh, library already at the moment. Um, and just do a search for a 10K um, 0603. Um, as you can see, nothing's come up here. Um, so we're going to have to create um, a, a, new con a new component and put it into our library. Um, so the easiest way to do this, um, and what I recommend for most uh, components, is to just go into the Manufacturer Part Search panel here, um, and then quickly search for uh, a 10... K0603, you can see I've already done it here, um, you just click on that search panel here, and then you uh, find one you like, I like this one here because it has this little green symbol here, that means it has a footprint and a symbol already in the Altium component, uh, Altium content vault, which basically means we can just import from Altium's uh, servers into our library, um, we just make things a lot easier, a lot more streamlined than doing it ourselves. Um, so I like this component here, um, and if I just click on it here, this is going to open a new window in your browser um, on Octopart, and you can see here, if we go on Octopart, you can get some additional information about it. You can see stock levels, um, inventory history, all that sort of jazz, um, and a bit more of the uh, uh, parameters about this component. Uh, but the important thing I want to point out here is the category categorization in octo part of this component. So it's under passive components, resistors, chip SMD resistors. Now, uh, what I have done in our uh, component library is if you go into Explorer here, I have replicated that in our component library. So if we go into components, um, passive components here, resistors, chip SMD resistors, this is exactly the same as octo part. This is where we'll be placing our new component in our own library. Um, but getting back to it, back to Manufacturer Part Search. This is the component we want. It's a, it's a 10K um, 0603 um, and yeah, 0 0.1 watts. This is, this is the component we like, this is the component we want. So to add it to our uh, library, we just right click and we click Acquire here, this button here with the shopping trolley. And then we go along here and this is where we uh, copy the uh, categorization that is in Octopart into our uh, own library. So just to reiterate, this is an Octopart, this is the exact component we're importing. Um, passive components, resistors, chip SMD resistors. So when we create a new component, we go into passive components here and we find resistors, resistors, chip SMD resistors. Awesome. It's going to ask us if we want to import some of the component data on the Altium servers. Uh, we do, so click OK. Um, awesome, that's all done. And then we, next thing to do is fill out all these parameters in the uh, component parameters section. So uh, composition of this component, of this resistor specifically, it is uh, metal glazed stick film. So I'm just going to control C, uh, control V that, manufacturer part name. This should be the same as up here. Uh, just control C, control V. You always want the name to be the manufacturer part number and you want the description to be um, helpful to the next person looking at this for a future design. Um, you don't want to put too much garbage in the description. Um, typically, Octopart imports a lot of unnecessary information. Um, you can see here like this, um, 110 parts per million per seal. I don't even know what a seal is, but that's not really relevant uh, for us at least when we're selecting a um, resistor. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, and I think the rest, the rest here is, is pretty useful to anyone looking to find a resistor in the future. Um, so that's the description panel, the advanced uh, panel here. Um, don't worry about this. This is generally fine. Um, you won't have to mess around with this. Um, okay, and then just fill out the rest of the parameters. Package slash case imperial. Uh, well, we have an 0603 um, imperial. Um, and I have specified the difference here between imperial uh, packages and metric 
packages. Uh, 95% of the time we're talking about imperial packages when we talk about components. Um, so for most cases, you're going to leave this metric uh, field blank, but it's basically just here to serve as a reminder that there are two different ways to measure a uh, component package. Make sure you're using the right one and you're putting it in the right component field. Um, power, okay, 0 0.1 watts, you can see it in the description there. Uh, rated voltage, uh, 75 volts. Tolerance, uh, it is a 1% resistor. Um, cool, and then we've got these data sheet files here which have automatically been imported from the Altium Content Vault. Um, if uh, this doesn't happen, um, please uh, search for your component in Octopart and download the PDF and put it in the parameters section here. Um, so anyone looking in the future to use a component can quickly check the data sheet of the component. Um, cool, so that's the parameters section of the component done. The next thing to do is look at the uh, component symbol and the component footprints. Um, for this particular component, we see we have four footprints uh, imported from the LTM content vault. Um, some, there's, there's this compact footprint here, which is typically used for a pick and place machine. Um, the footprint is much... Uh, smaller than um, a um, hand assembled footprint. Um, you can see they get sort of a bit more, the pads get a bit bigger here and that, that's to accommodate for hand assembly. Um, so all our PCBs are assembled by hand so we're not gonna, we're gonna remove this uh, um, footprint here. Um, although if you are looking to create a dense board um, and you need the extra space from, from the smaller pads, um, you feel free to use those smaller pad footprints, but note that assembly will be much harder um, when you use smaller uh, footprints. Um, I like the look of this IPCB footprint. I think that's a pretty good, uh, generous balance between um, easy enough to assemble by hand and um, compact enough not to reduce too much space on your PCB. Um, so I'm going to remove these other two here. But again, this does does depend on your application. Um, if you've got the room, you can use a bigger footprint. Um, if you're running out of room, then I definitely use the small footprints. Um, the next thing to do here was to make this um, easier for the next person um, and to encourage uh, reusability of component footprints. We want to change the name of this to something that is that is useful. Um, the, before this though, you should always check uh, that there isn't an existing footprint in our library already. So uh, keep in mind that we're trying to find an 0603, uh, we're trying to make an 0603 resistor footprint. Um, so the first thing to do before you release the component or anything is to check in our, um, to check in our library if we have an 0603 resistor footprint. Um, so all our footprints in the library are located in components, models, um, well, no, footprints. You can see here we have one footprint at the moment, and it's for a 1210 resistor. We're looking for an 0603 resistor, so there isn't a footprint here that we can reuse. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, make our own footprint. Uh, but luckily enough, it's already in the LCM content vault, so we can just um, use their one. Um, I don't have to make it from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to close this here. And this is the new footprint we're going to import into our footprints library. Um, we want to make this uh, reusable for people in the future. So uh, if you just click the edit button here, it's going to go into the PCB editor a window. Um, and we can see the name of the footprint is here. Now, this isn't very helpful to anyone looking at using an 0603 resistor footprint in the future. Um, we want to name this something generic so that uh, people can reuse footprints uh, where they can. Uh, so the way to do this is just to right click on the component in the PCB library panel and just go to uh, footprint properties. Uh, it's going to open a new window which you'll see here. Um, the name we want to make it 0603 uh, resistor uh, description, generic, whoop, 0603, I'm going to put imperial here, just for clarity, uh, resistor. 
awesome. Uh, the rest of these fields you can leave as is. So click OK. OK, you want to save this, so Control S, then go back into the component editing window, and you can see here the name of the footprint has been renamed to 0603 with sister. That is uh, very helpful to anyone looking to reuse uh, uh, component footprints in the future. Um, and similarly with the uh, symbol, um, we have this default one imported from the LCM content vault. Um, I know for a fact that we already have a resistor uh, symbol in our component library already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove this one here. Um, I'll just show you where this uh, footprint is in our library first before I delete it. Um, if you go into Explorer here um, and go into Models, Symbols, you can see we already have this resistor symbol already in our library. So I'm going to use this symbol. I'm not going to use the one imported from the LCM Content Vault. Um, so I'm going to delete this LCM Content Vault one here, remove, and then I'm going to go to Add Symbol, Existing, and then I'm going to go to uh, Components, Models, Symbols, um, we've actually got two symbols here, which shouldn't be the case, so uh, I will delete one of these, um, but we should only have one symbol per component type. Um, so we just click on this one here, uh, resistor, generic resistor symbol, that's what you want to use, reuse it, and there, there we go. We've got our resistor symbol, resistor, and we have our 0603 footprint um, for this component. Um, so that is looking all well and good. Um, important thing to make sure is your component is uh, correctly linked with an existing physical component. Um, so this will make uh, when you generate your active bombs for your PCB, uh, it'll, it'll make that link for you and it'll, it'll streamline the whole uh, uh, purchasing process. Okay, so everything's looking so good so far in this uh, new component. So I'm going to hit Control S. Oops, Control S, and you can see the asterisk is gone, so it's been locally saved. And then we just hit this cloud symbol up the top here. And then we want to release this component uh, to our library. Um, so just chuck a release note here. So this is initial release, uh, advanced. Uh, those have all been imported from up here. That's all good. So click OK. That's going to release our component to our library. Um, so that's that, that should now be in our library, our own uh, LCM365 library. So we can check that by just clicking the Components tab here. And if we just search for a 10K, you can see actually two have come up here because there's a 1210 resistor, um, a, a 10K 1210 resistor. And here's our one that we uh, imported, our 0603 uh, 10K resistor. And you can see in the field here, uh, resistance 10K uh, package 0603. These, this is the um, component parameters section that we filled out in the component editor window before. Um, so then it's simple, it's, it's as easy as dragging that into your schematic symbol, and now you can use it where you want in your design. Um, and I'll just reiterate, in the um, uh, our component symbols and component footprints library, you'll see here we have the one uh, resistor symbol, um, which is what we used. There was actually two before, so I'm not sure what's happened there. Um, I think one was sort of a phantom resistor there. Um, that shouldn't be there, but you can see we only have the one resistor symbol here. And if you look in footprints, uh, we have the 12 turn resistor there, which was there when we started. And we now have this 0603 resistor um, that we created in our footprints library as well. Um, so anyone looking to uh, create a new component, um, they can reuse this footprint um, for that new component. So it might be for a a different resist, different valued resistor, I don't know, like a 1K resistor, um, 0603, someone can just use this 0603 resistor footprint um, rather than them making their own or sourcing their own from the LCM content vault. Um, and that's basically all there is to it um, for importing a component um, from the manufacturer path search into our component library. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns regarding this process. Um, happy to help. Thanks, guys.
Have a good one.